Welcome to Form Fully Channel. This is PL SQL MCQ Series Part Three. Let's jump into the first question. Question one: Which of the following statement is incorrect about PL SQL? A. The feature of PL SQL programming are fetched from the ADA programming. B. The PL SQL runtime engine exists as a resource inside the SQL environment. C. PL SQL is a robust tool with many options. D. PL SQL is a case sensitive programming language like SQL. And the correct option is B. This is the incorrect statement about PL SQL as PL SQL runtime engine exists as a resource inside the SQL plus environment. Question 2 What are the two methods through which a value can be assigned to a variable each correct answer represents a complete solution a by using the default statement b by using the sql select into or fetch into statement c by using the command line argument d by using the assignment operator and the correct options are b and d by using the sql select into or fetch into statement and by using the assignment operator let's understand select into and assignment operator by an example To assign a default value to a variable, we use assignment operator or the default keyword. In first snippet, you can see we have assigned a desktop as a text value into a temp name variable using assignment operator. And in a second snippet, the same desktop a text value we assigned through a default keyword. The select into statement retrieves value from one or more database tables and store them in a variable. In syntax given you can see the select clause is used to extract the values from database table the distinct and unique keyword is used to return only one copy of each set of duplicate rows and the all keyword is used to extract all the selected rows select list here you can mention the column list which you want from the database table into clause bulk and collect into clause are used to store the database extracted values into a variable rest uh, statements are the same in example uh, we have declared a name variable and inside begin and end keyword uh, we are fetching the employee name from database employees whose employee id is 100 and storing the employee name into a name variable so uh, this is the simple example of select into clause question 3 what are the two kinds of numeric literals each correct answer represents a complete solution option a real b numeric c binary d integer and the correct options are a and d real and integer the type of literals include numeric literals character literals string literals boolean literals date time literals and real and integer are comes under numeric literals question 4 which one is wrong for why we use percent type attribute a to get the type of a database row b to get the type of a database column c to get the type of a variable and the correct option is a to get the type of a database row this is wrong usage of percent type attribute as the percent type data type allows you to declare a variable that is associated with the column in a database table let's understand percent type more The percent type attribute is used in PL SQL variable and parameter declarations. It ensures to maintain the type compatibility between table columns and PL SQL variables. In the syntax given, you can see the name represents the variable, the table column name represents the column of the table whose data type is going to assign to the name variable. In the example, name is the variable, employees is the table name, employee name is the column of the employees whose uh, data type is string. and using percent type the string data type is assigned to the name so in future if the employee name data type is changes to int so uh, the name data type also changes to int so this is the main usage of percent type attribute question 5 which of the following methods will use to find the maximum size of a collection a limit b exist c count d last and the correct option is a limit Question 6 which one is not the advantage of using percent type attribute a you don't need to find the type or scale of the column or variable that we get its type b if the type of the related column or variable changes since it will get the type at the time of running it won't crash your program c you don't need to assign any value if you use the percent type attribute it gets the value from the column or variable that you reference and the correct option is c that is not the advantage of using percent type attribute 
as percent type gets only the type of the column or variable it does not get the value from the referenced column or variable question 7 which one is the correct single line commenting for the pl sql a 2 slash hello b 5 times hyphen hello c 2 at the rate hello d slash star hello and the correct option is b 5 times hyphen hello because the first two hyphen indicate single commenting and the remaining ones are considered as text therefore the output will be hyphen 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 hello the pl sql support two commenting style single line or the text is prefixed with two hyphen and the multi line start multi line commenting start with slash star and ends with star slash question 8 what will be the output of this code pause the video and read the code first correct option is b 115 240 because if you see here there are two blocks of code here one is this and one is this in first outer declare section vnum is assigned with 20 after that in begin section vnum is replaced with 40 but in inner declare section vnum is again replaced with 15 so in this print statement vnum would be 15 but if you see here vnum again replaced with 30 but this is the local variable assignment we can say that the vnum is locally available to this inner block only not to the outer block so we cannot assign 30 outside this inner block so in the this print statement vnum would be the 40 because this is the 40 is the last value which is assigned in the outside block question 9 Which one is wrong for the SQL developer bind variables? A. You can reach them in multiple blocks. B. You can reach them from different worksheets. C. We cannot assign precision and scales for the number type in bind variables. D. Set auto print on command print all the bind variables that executed. And the correct option is B. You can reach them from different worksheets. This is wrong as bind variables are specific to the worksheet. bind variables also known as bind parameters or query parameters that are frequently used in where clause to filter the data the bind variable make the code more secure and help avoid sql ingestion security issues in the given example you can see we are selecting name from table customers where customer id equals to id here id represents a bind variable which can be act as a parameter value that you can refer anywhere in the code as unique using bind variable in queries it improves the performance of query if an sql statement is executed multiple times with a different value question 10 anonymous blocks are used when building script to seed data or perform one time processing activities in which of the following section of the anonymous block of pl sql can anonymous block programs be nested a exception b declaration c execution d definition and the correct option is c execution thanks for watching if you find this content valuable